Well, I don't think the economy is anywhere near cratering. It is certainly weaker than it was, uh, and it's going to continue to get weaker. And part of what, uh, uh, what they're looking at is because the credit has been tightened for, for, for a number of quarters starting in uh, 2017, and they've just actually pivoted to more accommodative monetary policy. So, uh, you know, we're not looking at a catastrophe in the Chinese economy. It's going to be a little bit slower. Uh, growth still came in at about 6.8 percent in the first half. And uh, they're very likely to meet their uh, full year target of 6.5 percent growth. So n none of that looks like cratering to me. What about the comment uh, that Larry said, money is flowing out of China in a very big way? I don't, I don't, I don't see evidence of that very much. I, I, the Chinese still have imposed pretty, string, uh, pretty strict capital controls. Uh, they, uh, they might let that loose a little bit uh, later in the year. But for the most part, uh, we are not seeing the kind of capital outflows or the pressure on the currency, uh, as you did in the 2015 period. Uh, and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, irrespective of what Kudlow said, a lot of the pressure on, on the currency is actually market driven. And the central bank actually hasn't intervened as much as it has in, uh, previously. Uh, speak to the uh, larger question and issue of a trade war. Clearly, the market's uh, up in a big way. There were some earnings reports yesterday, but perhaps the bigger news was uh, this possibility of at least some con beginning of a conversation here. Um, do you think a trade war will ultimately be avoided? And does it mean that Trump put China in a box to actually even have these conversations? You know, I think these talks are, 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 are perhaps uh, not as much as, 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 you know, one would think. I think it's sort of a, to, to have talks to, to decide if we're going to have further talks. I'm not sure that we're going to get any uh, concrete deliverables out of these rounds of talks. So I would expect probably more escalation. But I would say so you that don't, you people don't look should... at it as a positive step. I mean, you looked at I, the, the reason I ask is the, the markets reacted, I mean, r remarkably yesterday on this assumption that the beginning of these talks was a meaningful, at least first step towards a resolution on this. That's not your it's take. It's a positive. <clears throat> it, it's, certain, it's certainly a positive step. But in but in terms of what the Trump administration wants out of the deal. Uh, their goals are things like rolling back China's, uh, you know, industrial policy made in China 2025. That's just not going to happen uh, from tariffs. Uh, they want China to stop, you know, IP transfers, IP theft. That's not going to happen from tariffs. So uh, the the goals, uh, the, the goals that the uh, the White House wants, uh, won't really come from the current tactics being employed. So uh, it, it is absolutely a positive step, but it's probably not going to achieve what the, uh, right. what, what the White House wants. Speak to the timing, though, of the Chinese on this, this trade war issue in terms of how fast you think they could react one way or the other. Peter Bookvar was on Closing Bell yesterday and posited this idea that at least from our side, the U.S. side, uh, there would be an, an effort by the administration to at least show some signs that a trade war is off the table ahead of the midterms, that, that some of this might even be political. I think I think that's that is possible. I think the Chinese are uh, wait, waiting and seeing what's going to happen with the midterms. Uh, I think when it comes to a war of attrition, if you will, on the trade war, the Chinese are certainly willing to wait that, that weigh that out and, and and you know and continue a war of on attrition. And uh, I think they believe time is on their side. And so I wouldn't expect the Chinese to just quickly back off. Uh, you know, uh, there's been a lot of talk about how the Chinese won't be able to retaliate in kind because they don't export as much, or we do not export as much to the Chinese. But there are other ways they can uh, they, they they can hurt the United States, for example, on services, which mm -hmm. we run a 50 billion dollar surplus, and they can certainly uh, go after those exports.